Hello, second grade. Welcome back to another science investigation. Today, we are talking and focusing on the question, what happens when rocks are placed inside of water? To begin our investigation, we're going to take a look at these rocks over here. We've started off our unit by talking about rock properties. How would you describe these rocks? You can pause the video now to talk about it. Once you're done describing these rocks by their properties, I want you to think, what would happen to the properties of these rocks when I place it inside of water? Make your predictions, and remember when making your predictions, think about what you already know. Think about how rocks are hard, think about their color, their texture, their size, Will any of these things change now that rocks are placed inside of the water? Once we are done making our predictions, we can start to place the rocks inside of the water. As I place these rocks inside of this container of water, I want you to think of the properties it had before and look at the properties it may have now. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, looking closely inside of the container, the rocks have made some slight changes when going inside of the water. We see now with these rocks, the light white spots that were on the rocks before are a little harder to see. The rocks have become a little darker. Also, if you look really closely, there are some bubbles starting to form on top of the rocks. Oh, a bubble just popped up. Why do you think there are bubbles on the rock once I put it inside of the water? What makes the bubbles pop up? As we learned last week in our investigations and our lessons, rocks make changes once they are put together and can make changes once water is present. This is called weathering. So when rocks are presented inside of water, the water makes some changes to the rocks due to its different properties, chemical changes, and interactions. So now what we are going to do, second grade, is leave these rocks inside of the water for a couple days to see what happens to rocks when they're inside of water for a long period of time. Do you think perhaps maybe we'll see something else in the water? Will the rocks start to shift and move? Do you think the rocks will get smaller in size, bigger in size? We'll continue our investigations on these rocks as the days go on.